So Chloe, you also worked with the John Le Carré essay title. Um, how did you find it generally working with that title? How, how easy, how difficult was it to produce a final discursive essay working with that? Um, at first, when I saw the um, essay title, I really stressed and I thought it would be really, really hard as I came from a French system and I um, never saw this kind of questions. However, all the stages really helped me to go through it and give a final draft and finally said that was pretty good, I think. So the staging, that sort of breaking it down into small parts, you found that helpful. Yeah. Can you say how or why? Um, especially the first stage, because um, I didn't know anything about Cold War. As I just heard of it, but I did never studied it in France. And so having to do um, the breakdown of the question each part, to what extent, Cold War paranoia, um, 1960s helped me to go in each part of the question and work on it. So that was the sort of the context really, the background, the historical context, <coughs> and then deciding what you wanted to argue, how easy, or what did you decide you wanted to argue in your essay? Um, I decided to argue about the characterization of um, the main characters and also the population that is a bit represented in the group, uh, in the book. Um, so Loomis as the person that is manipulated by the society and they, by the bureau and everything and he doesn't have any more personality, he just is a character of what he needs to reflect, which is a spy. And Liz, on the other side, she is the um, <clears throat> representation of the population and the paranoia with um, Leomus because she always doubts about him. and. Um, yeah, that was just Good. to represent both parts. So, so you worked on the, the, the background, the historical mm -hmm. context, and then you worked on the idea of characterisation yeah. to build your argument. Mm -hmm. um, so going back to that sort of early stage when you were trying to work out what you were doing, did you put together a mind map? Yes, I did. OK, and can you talk to me about that? It was really useful because um, starting to work on finding out what was the Cold War, what happened during the Cold War, helped me to create the first part of the mind map. Um, I read the book really early because um, I did an interview to get into the foundation year, so I started to read the book. And being able to do the mind map and having to, um, having to read the book before helped me to create another branch of the mind map to talk about the book and all the main ideas that I could think of. Can we have a look at the mind map and you can talk me through how it works and what you did? So in the middle, the core bit was Cold War's paranoia in Britain in the 1960s because I thought that's what I'm focusing on. Mm -hmm. So then there is what is paranoia and then I developed what it was. So I took just a definition of paranoia and developed it to have different synonyms and then I developed it to inside the book. And then I developed on Cold War, put the dates and all the main events that happened that we can find in the books as well. And then the last one is Britain in the 1960s, which I knew nothing about, so I thought it would be important mm. to do a branch on. And every time I would do a branch on Cold War, Britain in the 1960s or paranoia, I would at the end link it to the book. Nice. Nice. So you've got your whole sort of context there and you've got links to specific parts of yeah. the book. And then from there you went on to develop the idea about characterisation yeah. of the main characters mm -hmm. in the novel. It also helped me to find the sources for the annotated bibliography, which is in stage two. Tell me at that link, how did, how did the mind map help you um, find sources? Well, it helped me to... Developing the mind map helped me to develop some questions and mm -hmm. think about it, about them. And then I just went on the um, library search and kind of build up my question in a way that I could have mm -hmm. an answer with some books that would help me. So it actually helped you come up with some of the key terms yeah. for your library search? Yeah. 